is a Storm Team Alert, certified as Central New York's most accurate. Doesn't feel like it's been such a mild winter lately. We're in the middle of another shot of winter weather. Wet snow coming down for about four hours now, though letting up right now as the radar is a little less full. Good evening, everyone. I'm Christy Castiano. I'm Jeff Kulikowski. We are in Storm Team Alert, and we will be right through the morning commute. And a number of closings, delays already coming in. You'll see them at the bottom of your screen. News Channel 9's Madison Moore checking on road conditions for us right now. Storm Team Chief Meteorologist Jim Teske joins us first. So, fill us in. Are we going to see more snow? Are we in a lull? What's happening right now? Yeah, we're kind of in a lull. That's the best way to describe it is we've seen a little break here in the last hour or so, but there are still winter weather advisories and even winter storm warnings in effect across central New York. The warnings, Oneida, Madison, Shenango, Otsego counties into tomorrow. Here's the radar and you can kind of see that lull as it developed and just within the last hour or so, things starting to fill up again over Syracuse and I'm also watching the development to the south across southern Finger Lakes. That's starting to fill back in. So we're not quite done here yet. I do expect the snow to continue tonight and tomorrow. Now, these are storm totals. This would take us through about noon tomorrow, so you may not wake up totally with three to seven inches by the time you wake up. Um, we'll probably end up that way as we head toward the middle of the day. Syracuse probably going to end up around three or four inches, seven to ten possible east of Syracuse where you saw those warnings weather will improve going through the afternoon so the worst of it tomorrow morning during the commute we're dealing with snow but temperatures are close to freezing that snow is tapering during the afternoon so the evening commute much nicer temperatures are above freezing we'll have more on the forecast in a moment but right now we want to go live to News Channel 9's Madison Moore she's live on Erie Boulevard east in Syracuse Madison how are things looking out there right now Jim, they're not looking too bad. You can see there is a little bit of light flurries coming down, but as you said, we've seen that lull in the past hour or so where there hasn't been that precipitation as much coming down, but we've got about an inch, maybe an inch and a half of snow accumulation already on the ground. And as for the road conditions, you're actually going to see a plow coming by in just a second here. There have been a lot of plows out on the road making sure to get that slush that we've seen off the ground. And the low was actually helped to allow them to catch up with that snow accumulation we had seen earlier this evening. And uh, these plows, like I said, they've been out on the side streets as well as on the highways for this evening. And in the road conditions, they're just a little bit wet right now. But we do anticipate seeing that snow oh, during those overnight hours. And these plows are going to be out here all night long. I had a chance to speak to the New York State Department of Transportation earlier this evening. And they said that they have over 100 snow plows ready to go. And they're also taking some precautionary measures in anticipation of disabled cars on I-81. We pre-deployed our tow truck services and they are going to be located uh, on I-81 South in the Lafayette area. So, And we're doing that to uh, be able to help any uh, motor vehicle that is, is uh, uh, displaced somehow, get them cleared quickly. Now the roads are going to probably be a little bit slick and sloppy during that morning commute tomorrow. So if you do have to head out, just give yourself a little bit extra time. Go slow. And the state DOT's biggest request is to give those snow plows a little bit room. Don't crowd them. Go, go back a little bit and just give them their space so they can do their job. Live in Syracuse tonight, Madison Moore, News Channel 9. 